Hey guys, it's me, Sick GTO Technology, and not in a good way. I am sick, <clears throat> so you'll have to excuse me throughout the pauses in this video, where I may have to edit out me coughing, or I might sound a little bit thin. It's not because I'm gassy or I'm burping every two seconds. It's because I know that sounded very classy. <clears throat> it's because I'm not feeling top of my game right now. It's actually been spraying out through this entire school, so it's no surprise that I got it. But it's just a cold, and it'll end soon. Certainly by next weekend when I make the next coding tutorial. So we're just continuing right here. We've just stated our broadcast method, message method. Fixed a little issue on line 39 where I said broadcast messages instead of broadcast message. Uh, broadcast message is reading the file line by line, resetting if the last line is reached. And also it is certainly broadcasting each line as it goes through uh, with chat colors and such. So right now we're just going to uh, set up some commands so that we can stop and start these broadcasts. Broadcasts, I'm having an issue saying that today. From within the game, rather than having to turn off the plugin and turn off the server or reload it. So, <coughs> public boolean on command. So we're just gonna do a little command handler. <coughs> <coughs> Command sender, sender, command cmd, string, command label, and string args. So this is going to import command sender <coughs> and command. And uh, so we got our command sender. Uh, which is going to be passed into here, the actual command itself, the command label, and then the arguments. So we're going to say add return statement. Let's put this in here at the very end. It's not really a focus right now, but it is essential for a boolean since a boolean is true or false. I hope I'm saying that correctly. If it's not boolean or something. So we're going to say if <coughs> the command or command label equals and we're not going to worry about the casing of it it can be in capital letters for all we care it's as long as it just says these words stop broadcast be careful when you're going to be typing this in game because if you accidentally make a typo and say stop brdcast or whatever it's going to assume you mean stop the server this is probably not wise i'm actually using the command stop broadcast on the slight chance that you misspell it but it just makes sense that we're going to be stopping the broadcast so we might as well <coughs> call it that in short just don't misspell stop broadcast when you're typing it in game or else bucket will think you're trying to turn off the server opening bracket I bet a look of concern just ran over your face so if the broadcaster is running so if running is equal to one make sure it's equal twice equal sign twice or otherwise we're gonna be saying we're going to be assigning the <clears throat> value of one to the uh, running integer instead of asking if it is equal to one and of course we say at the very beginning that it is running by default so we're saying <clears throat> if it is running bucket dot get server <coughs> in parentheses uh, get scheduler dot cancel task and we will be canceling it using through the thread ID so as I stated earlier in this we will be assigning an ID to this uh, broadcasting plugin from the start so that we can cancel it later if we need to or start it back up so uh, yeah so player player equals sender so our variable player it's actually gonna be the sender of the command Make sure players in parentheses and you import it. <coughs> uh, player dot send message canceled broadcasts. <coughs> so that's just letting him know that we uh, turned off that when he sent that command, it did work, and that the broadcasts are turned off. Else, so if and else. Uh, I'm going to again say that the variable player is the sender since we're in a little different section we kind of have to restate this 
We're gonna send a message saying they aren't running. So why are you trying to turn them off if they're not running? So if running, if it is running, send them a message when they run this command. We're gonna cancel it first. Then we're gonna message them telling them that we canceled it. Now if it isn't running, then we say they aren't running. So why are you trying to cancel them? Obviously, you can't cancel broadcasts if they're not already running on the server. <clears throat> so we're going to say else if, make sure those, unlike in PHP, are separated in two different words. Command label equals ignore case again. Start broadcast. We're going to say opening parentheses. <coughs> Sorry, opening curly brackets. Um... If running, just like above, is equal to 1, so if it is running, um, again, we're going to say that the sender, we'll just call the variable player, which is the sender of the command. Uh, we're going to send them a message saying, they are still running. So why are you trying to start the broadcast if they're still already running? And we're going to say, and right after that little closing bracket, we're going to curly bracket, we're going to say else <coughs> thread ID. And just like above, we're going to be addressing the new thread ID. So we're just going to copy this right here. And we're just going to paste it again. So we're just restarting it. So that's why we're just copying and pasting it all over again. It's all we're doing. We're restarting it. <coughs> so just like before when we created the, the, the repeating task, uh, this is what this command is doing, so we're just going to paste this in here instead of retyping the whole thing. Now, you can retype the whole thing if you want. It's just. Again, I'm going to state this. Since this is in a different section, we're going to have to restate one more time that the player variable is the center of the command. And we're going to send them a message saying started broadcasts. Uh, and then running is equal to 1 since it is re running once again. So, I think I. Right under canceled broadcasts, say running right here on line 77 for me, <coughs> running equals 0. So that way, uh, when we're saying if running is equal to 1, there's a chance that it'll, so that when we cancel it, we'll be saying that it's actually zero. So that way, <clears throat> we can tell if it's running or not. So let's just go over this again, because I probably just lost you at that last part. On the command, if the command is stop broadcast, and we don't care about the case, uh, we're going to say if it's running, we're going to just, uh, we're going to cancel the broadcast, and we're going to set running to zero, because it's not running anymore. Now, otherwise, if it is still running, we're going to tell, or if it isn't running, we're going to go ahead and tell them that it's not running, so uh, don't try to stop the broadcast, because there's no point, because they're not running. Now, we're going to say else, if they said start broadcast, and we don't care about case, if it's running, we're going to go ahead and tell them that they're still running, so there's no point in running the start broadcast command. Now, otherwise, we can go ahead and start the broadcast all over again, and we'll send them a message saying, send him or her a message saying started broadcasts and then we're going to say running equals one so there we go that is the whole dot java no errors and it turned out in my case because i added some extra lines than i did before we have 105 lines so if you're like me and you have over 100 lines and you're triple digits give yourself a pat on the back if this is your first time and even then go ahead and give yourself another pat on the back because it's over 100 lines, and that's a lot of, t you know, coding. Uh, so you should be proud of that. And uh, so the only thing we have left to do is to add that plugin.yml. And don't worry about having to type it all out with the spacing and the specifics. I'll just throw a paste bin down in the description, and you can just paste it in. But I'll go ahead and show you how to make the plugin.yml in case you forgot or, and you don't, or in case you don't know. So right-click your project, go to New file plugin.yml paste it in oops that's not what I wanted we'll use this <clears throat> paste it in 
Make sure that there is an empty line at the very bottom. Uh, and everything's correct. You don't need to modify anything. Save it. Save your plugin. And here's the fun part. We're exporting it. Just kidding. Uh, tune in for the next episode to find out how to export it and how to test it out in game. If you can't figure it out yourself, <clears throat> which hopefully you won't, so you'll go ahead and click on that last one. Uh, thanks for watching this one. I hope it helped. And uh, just finish the Java file. And you wrote over 100 lines of coding, or at least close enough to it. Uh, so thanks. Uh, rate, comment, and subscribe if I helped. And if I didn't, don't dislike just yet. Ask the question in the comments. I'm sure you've already reviewed it and made sure you haven't uh, <clears throat> missed anything. And yeah.